Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Um, today we're gonna do a round two of bubble painting, but this time we're using actual bubbles. So the first thing is if you are not receiving a packet, you're gonna take some bubbles and add some food coloring to it. This one has teal in it, and you should make about two or three colors. Tatum has selected teal and red, and you'll wanna get a piece of paper, and this is definitely like an outdoor activity on your driveway if your parents don't mind a little bit discoloration on the driveway or um, a safe place of concrete and Tatum's got her paper um, locked down with a rock which is great and now she's taking the teal and is going to start blowing the bubbles um, with the color onto the paper and one of the things I noticed when testing this project is that um, the bubbles go different distances and sometimes they don't reach the paper um, but they also get um, uh, the wind blows them in different ways. So I felt like I had to move around a lot when I was making my um, my samples. So as you can see, you kind of have to get up and move around. This is a very kind of physical project. And you can do as much or as little on the paper as you like. One of the things I like about it is, um, and I'll zoom in a little bit closer in a second, is that there's drips from the heaviness of the bubbles. Uh, but then there's also these light marks that are left when you have a bubble on there. Another thing you can do is if you have a, somebody with you, is you can play a little bit of a game of chase and have them hold the paper and try to catch the bubbles that you blow. Um, or you can have it on the ground either way. Okay, so Tatum has now moved on to the red. Um, and what I love that's happening here is that there's this, um, oops, your shadow's right over it, sweet, so I'll get it, we'll show you guys in a second. So there's this combination of the drops, which are like a heavy color, and then where the bubble bursts, which are these like really light, light rims, and I love the combo of both, it's so pretty. And um, I, the main part of this lesson is just the overlapping colors that we were practicing um, the last two weeks, but this is just another fun way to achieve it with real, real bubbles. And you guys can fill the paper as much or as little as you want. Um, this is one example, and I'll show you the other two examples. Mine turned out a little bit lighter. Um, but here's another one. This one is with red and blue, but it's super light, so it's hard to see um, in this very, very bright sun. And then the other one I did was with um, some pink and purple and, um, and teal. So I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.